So in this video, we are going to learn the five notes that are going to belong to our left hand in the bass clef. Okay, so you will need to print out the attachment. There's a sheet attached to this lesson as well. You will need to print that out so that you can follow along with me, okay? And you can draw them. I think it's really important that you do draw them with me, okay? Because it's in drawing them that it helps you to remember where these notes are placed on the staff lines, on those five lines where we place all of our notes, right? So the right hand has its own five lines that will always sit on the top. And the left hand will always have its own five lines that sit underneath. We will see all of this later. But for now, let's go and draw our bass clef notes. Okay, we'll do it together. Get your sheet first. Now, we've done our bass clefs and we saw how super duper easy it was to do bass clefs. In this lesson, we are going to learn what the notes look like for our bass Clef. Now the first note that we're going to draw, I'm trying to decide what color to use. There's so many. Okay. <laughs> now in this very top one, what we're going to do is we need to look at the spaces. So I might use the red for that. Actually, we've got four spaces. One, two, three, and four. And you'll notice they always count from the bottom to the top. It's like climbing a ladder. You see, it's like if you were climbing a ladder, you start from the bottom step to you know, until you get to the top step. So to do this cat today for this bass cliff, we are going to put him in space number two. And so if you look at him, it looks like he's got this lovely little cushion sitting underneath him, doesn't it? So there's our cats down there in the bass cliff. So let's do some more. So make sure that he's not in the bottom space, he's in the space just above it because this is like his beautiful little cushion down here he wants to be comfortable you know what cats are like they're not going to be sitting on the ground that's not comfortable they always look for soft spots that are nice and comfy for them and cat right lovely so let's give these cats a tail same space these cats are always going to be in the same space we're going to give them a tail cut for cat i'm going to draw another one Cut for cat, and this is in the base cliff. And cut for cat. Wonderful. Make sure you draw five of these cats and their whole notes. So these cats would hold for one, two, three, and four. But if you were playing the cats with the tails, you would be holding these for one, two. Easy. So make sure you've got five cats in the whole notes and five cats that have tails, or more. If yours are smaller than mine, you can do more, but at least do five, because we're trying to learn them, okay? Welcome back. So we've done our cats. Hopefully you finished all of yours. I'm lazy, I'm just gonna do three and three, but because you have to learn them, I'm hoping you've done at least five of each. You can do more if you want to, if you're having fun with it, okay? Now today we're going to do the dogs in this lesson. Dogs are easy in this bass clef because they're the very, very middle line. So you find line number three, the middle line. No matter which way you look at it, it's always going to be the same line. And we're just going to wrap around it like that. And that's our dogs down there. Super easy. I always find the dogs down here so easy to remember because they're smack in the middle. You can't miss it. And dog. Hopefully my circles look okay because I'm usually pretty bad at drawing circles. <laughs> this one was a bit wonky donkey, but this one's good, right? Okay, but you can draw nice circles if you're good at drawing. So in the next one, this is where it's going to get tricky now. When we do these dogs and we give them tails, these dogs are going to have their tails pointing down. And make sure you put them on the same side as mine. Okay, so let's do another dog. So he's wrapping around the middle line. Line number three, and his tail's going to point down. And we're going to do one more on the middle line, pointing down. Now, there is a video explaining which way the sticks point. These look like sticks. They're actually called stems in music. You don't need to remember that, okay? If you just think of them as sticks, that's fine. That's why I sometimes call them sticks. 
but there is a whole video just explaining why these are going to be pointing up and these are going to be pointing down okay and all the next notes we're looking at will be pointing down as well make sure you do five dogs in the whole notes five dogs in the long notes right so we are up to the third animal and today we're looking at in this video we're looking at elephants we're going to need our space numbers again one two three and four because our elephants are in our space as well they are in space number three the cat was in space cat was in space number two but our elephants are in space number three. Okay, so let's do some more elephants down here. So I'm going to do another elephant. And the elephants are lovely, just like the cats. You can see the whole face of the elephant. There we go. Elephant. And just as we said in the previous video, when we draw our elephants, their tails will also be pointing down. And be careful that the tail goes on this side when it points down. Okay, try and put them on the same side as what I've done. Draw the circle first. Always draw the circle first. See, I always draw the circle first and then come back to draw the line. And there's your elephant. So make sure you do at least five of these elephants in the whole notes and then five of these elephants in the long notes. Have fun drawing elephants. How did you go drawing the bass cliff notes? Now, I find the bass cliff notes are a little bit trickier because you don't have that beautiful cat with a hat that makes it so easy to remember, right? Cat with a hat, everyone remembers it's a cat and everyone will remember later that it's finger number one. It's just such an easy note to remember. These five notes, they're not that easy to remember. Try and remember one. Even if it's just the one in the top space that's the giraffe, you're doing great. Or if you remember the dog, because it's on the middle line, no matter which way you count it, he always sits on the middle line. I think dog was one of the first ones that I learned. I just found him so easy to remember because it's on the middle line. So try and remember one. And then as you're learning and playing along with your songs, try and start to remember more of the notes and how they look, okay, and where they sit. So we had five notes that we had to learn for the left hand, for the bass clef. And you'll find that they all sit in a different spot. So just pay attention to that, okay? And go back, maybe draw them more times to help you remember them. Remember, you can print out these sheets as many times as you want. They're your sheets. So you can print them two, three, four times and just keep drawing them if it helps you to remember them, okay? Okay. 